Hey Miguel, how does a customer choose what type of battery to put in their camper or uh, travel trailer? Right, so first of all, when you're purchasing a trailer, a new trailer, a camper, um, if the battery subject doesn't come up, basically they're, most of the dealerships is going to put a standard battery in it, which is going to be a lead acid battery, your 12 volt battery that goes in the units. Like on this particular unit, you have two batteries on board, so we'll just include this type of battery. Um, it just depends on the customer if they want to upgrade the battery to like an AGM type of battery which is a maintenance free type of battery and also like a lithium type of battery. So the difference is with the lead acid battery you're going to have maintenance on it so every three months or so you're going to have to check the water levels on the battery itself. Um, if you want to avoid maintenance then you want to consider a battery like an AGM and the AGM is completely sealed. This is just a, a model. Uh, same same dimensions and everything, still a 100 amp battery, uh, still charges off the same charger that's in the units, but the difference is there won't be any maintenance on it. So when we don't have maintenance on there with these, uh, you will have to be checking the water level and, and periodically. Uh, there's also a third option, which is your lithium battery, which is going to be more expensive, of course, uh, and those are also maintenance free. Uh, the key difference between the three is, for one, is pricing. So a lot of these, like, we'll just throw in the deal a lot of times when you're just, you know, buying a new trailer or camper. Uh, if you buy a set of these, you're going to run about $300 for a pair. Uh, AGMs are going to be a little bit more expensive. They're going to be about $350 a piece. So you're about $700 in for a set of those. Um, if you go to lithium batteries, then you're going to be paying about $800 to $900 for a battery. So you're looking at an $1,800 bill. Uh, somewhere up there close to $2,000 for a set of lithium batteries. Performance wise though, you're going to get much better performance out of an AGM and a lithium. Uh, some of the key differences between the AGM and the lithium is that the lithium will run at 100% capacity until it's completely uh, basically dead at 0% just like a cell phone would be. Uh, with an AGM you can run it down you know that 40 or 40% 50% where you have to recharge it again. Uh, and that's really what you're looking for if you want a little bit more performance when you're dry camping, uh, then maybe consider the lithium, the lithium package for your unit. Um, with lithium though, you have to be a little bit careful because a lot of times with the lithium in extreme temperatures, uh, above 130 degrees or in real cold temperatures like below freezing weather, they might not take a charge. And that all depends on the placement of the batteries. Like here you can see that the batteries are outside somewhat. So that might affect the lithium battery if it was in cold, extreme weather, or real hot weather. Some of the units, like on our campers, the batteries are actually installed inside of compartment, so the weather really doesn't affect it, so you could decide to go to a lithium battery. Okay, so if you guys have any more questions on the travel trailers or truck campers, uh, pricing on, on the new units or Orion units, uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, you can always call here at the shop at our phone number or contact me by email, uh, galaxycampers at gmail.com. Thank you.